Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to give you some simple basketball offenses that you can run at the elementary school age level. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So this first offense is called the box offense because obviously it makes a box, but how we start this one is by having our smaller players in the low post and our bigger players in the high post, generally speaking. It really depends on the play that you're running, but essentially the main aspect to this play or these plays is the bigger players are screening for the smaller players so that we can hope for a switch which will allow us to have an advantage with height. So. There's a billion and a half different box offenses that you can run, but some simple ones that you can run is this one where the big start up top and they screen down for the smaller players. And what you're essentially hoping for here is for those players to pop off of those screens and for one of those two defenders who are bigger players to then switch off onto a smaller player. This way you can have player one pass to player three in this case because there was a switch on that side. This offense alone will teach your teams not just how to win games and also how to run plays during games, but it will also help players like the point guard be able to visualize on the court and see what's happening so that he can use players to his advantage. So having that switch one of two things can happen. We can have these two players clear out, or we can have now player three pass into player five for a low post mismatch, because obviously taller versus smaller, taller is usually going to win down there. But if you have a very good wing, we could have these players clear out, and have then player three, if he's faster than player five, to take his man one-on-one -on -one towards the basket. The only downfall to box offenses is it's a set play. So once you have finished running through it, one of two things is going to happen. Either your team is going to get lost afterwards if you don't score, or you can then run a motion offense afterwards. And one of the best motion offenses to run is the five out. And the reason why 5 out is so great is because it allows for your team to have all 5 players on the perimeter of the court and at that point you can start running some basic 5 out offenses to try and get an easy layup or an open 3 point shot. Now really quickly if you want to know the full everything to know about the 5 out offense go check out the link down in the description the complete guide to the 5 out offense is down there for you. If you want to know some quick simple plays for the 5 out, which is another fantastic option for elementary school aged players, this is a five simple 5 out play that you can run. And player 1 can pass to player 3 or to player 2, but let's say he passes to player 3. Player 1 has 3 decisions to make. He can either cut towards the rim, he can screen for the player he passed to, or he can screen away to the player away from where he, he passed to. Now the benefit to this play is obviously now you're teaching your players how to run off ball or run after they make that pass, which is now, let's say he cuts towards the basket, he cuts, he stays there for a second posting up, player 2 fills his spot, 5 fills 2's spot, and now player 1 pops out towards the far side. The nice thing about this is because that now you're not just teaching a point guard's a point guard, a center's a center. They're essentially running every single position on the court. The other benefit to this is the fact that even if the other team was running a zone defense, which this would be a zone where you've got a 2-3 zone, and the benefit to a play like this is now you can stretch out the zone by just stretching out your players away from the three-point line and at this point what you're hoping for is for the defense to get so spread open so that when player three drives towards the basket that would draw up player five and player four would be looking in this direction which would allow player one to cut back door for an easy layup. So, so far we've gone over the box offense as well as a 5-out motion. Obviously, there's more advanced versions of the 5-out. 
but you can go check out that book down in this description and you can choose and pick what type of screens that you want to teach your players. Next is going to be the four out one in offense motion as well that works for against both man-to-man -man and zone defenses and works really well at the younger age. So if you're going up against a man-to-man, -man, some simple four out plays that you can run is pl having player one pass to four, five sets of back screen to player one who cuts towards the basket may have an easy layup. And at this point, player five, he could then, if player one isn't open for that layup, we can then have player five pop out and now player one goes towards that high post. Or we can have player one instead fill out towards player three and these players just fill in those spots. Similar to that five out offense I just showed you. Now it's really difficult to get a pass from the wing to the point so what you would want to do is to now have player two screen away for player four and this can lead into either just a simple to get the ball back up towards the point or this could lead into a staggered screen with player 5 player 4 then attacks the middle of the key which then has player 5 roll off and may have player 3 come down to help out with uh, the defense so player 4 could have an option to pass to player 5 or out to player 3 but either way let's say player 4 keeps that ball We'll have player 2 popping out because player 5 came from this side and player 4 is currently in the high post. What we're going to have is player 5 fill out towards the side and now we can have a simple pass up towards the point either it be to player 2 or to player 3 and now we're back in our 4 out 1 in offense and that motion so that now player four is the center and we can now run our offense once again. Now of course a four out one in is a bit more difficult than the other two I just showed you but still works extremely well for younger players. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.